Right, what I'm doing firstly, Benita, is I've just wet the whole of the paper and now I'm adding a bit of raw sienna into it. I'm using a goat hair brush, as you can see. Put a little bit down there. The reason Benita and I use goat hair brushes is because they hold a lot of water and it's quite soft and doesn't mark the paper. Now the thing is using acrylic is you've got to make sure that brush is in the water all the time because if the acrylic sets on the fibres then uh, you can kiss that brush goodbye sometimes. Now as you can see the water is actually running towards the bottom of the picture that's because I've got the board inclined that way at about 15 degrees. You can see how the colour's moving now when I put the cobalt blue swish it into the area very wet at this moment very you can see the water pooling on the back of the tiger of course it's quite important to work quite quickly with acrylic isn't it so it does yep. go off <clears throat> that's right unlike although I'm, I'm using it in a watercolor fashion unlike watercolor we can't lift the color off or it's extremely difficult so i've got to really dive in there and uh, work quick because once an area is dry it, it doesn't re-emulsify the other thing I'm doing is I'm putting stronger and stronger colour on all the time as well. That helps prevent watermarks. You can't put a weaker mix into a stronger mix. It, uh, you get all sorts of problems. I'm putting stronger and stronger colour in. Looks like I picked up a bit of alloris and crimson there, or a bit, of, or a bit of ultramarine blue, so it's purpled up a little bit, but that's okay. You can see the angle of the board by the drainage of the yeah. colour, can't you? Yeah, you can see it running. But that's alright, because I just want to... Uh, get a sort of an atmosphere behind the tiger rather than a specific thing. Now it's been on about 10 minutes and the paper's not totally dry, it's sort of damp. And as I dab it onto the damp area, you can see it's not moving as quick as it did before. I'm using the ultramarine blue and the raw sienna just to get this and Payne's grey just to get this greeny look and as you can see the colour's not moving as fast as it did when I first put the colour on. That's because we're working into a damp area. In fact some of the areas we're getting hard edges because uh, it's dried out and there's just a touch of ultramarine, a uh, touch of burnt umber in there as well just warm it up a little bit because although you're painting a snow scene we don't want to make it too sort of cold so I like to put a bit of warmth in, a bit of raw sienna and a bit of burnt umber at some point. It's still a little bit damp, well it's drying out. I'm using a rigger now just to flick a few somethings up. You can also use the side of the brush, you don't necessarily have to keep using the point all the time. And this is the sort of foliage or uh, breaks in the snow that you get up there in the sort of tundra areas of Siberia. Just using the side of the bush just to sort of frame the tiger a little bit by putting foliage behind the ore hill. 